Hey, beautiful people, it's Kelly. So what's y'all doing? Having some Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Yeah, it'll tickle your ears. And some pretzels. And some tissues. I'm just kidding, I can't pull them out. She said she was fluffing them up for me. I think she'd claw them. I said, I don't need but one. She kept pulling them out. Anyway, we're here with the uh, work in progress. This is Miss Chloe. She's almost done, so I thought I'd just like show her off here. what she she looks like today I still got to do the nails she's got beautiful paw pads so far I like the color up and like a cherry, black cherry to like a, some black and some gray. Anyway. There's our leaves. She almost finished. spend the day cleaning my bathroom. Bathroom's a disaster. It's that time of month again. I try to deep clean my bathrooms once a month. Usually right around the first of the month. But since the first is on Tuesday and I got a doctor appointment, I thought I'd go ahead and knock them out the day. So, you know, empty out the cat pans, scrub them with hot soapy water. Fill them up with new litter, sweep mop, dust, scrub the toilet, the bathtub. <laughs> you know all the things that we all hate, hate doing it. <laughs> it needs to be done. It's hard to believe that Tuesday's the uh, 1st of February. My mom's birthday, she's turning 70 this year. She's not gonna have a good birthday, I don't think. And uh, my daughter contacted me yesterday and said my grandmother's not doing well. She's in the nursing home with um, Alzheimer's, dementia. And uh, last week she was uh, diagnosed with bronchitis. And uh, just soon she seemed to, like she was like getting a little bit better from bronchitis, she got COVID. So uh, it's not going well for her. They, they called all the family in and yesterday they had to decide if uh, things turn, could turn for the worse, if they wanted to revive her or just let her go. And, uh, I think my uncle was the holdout in the decision making, and he finally decided early this morning to, you know, if she, if she got too bad, you know, just let her uh, pass away, because, you know, she, she got to a point where she didn't have any quality of life, because you got to think about the fact that she's nearly 90, and she wasn't, she wasn't doing good. Ever since, like, Christmas, she, you know, she's been deteriorating quite rapidly. I think she had another stroke right before Christmas because my mom said that she 
um, after Christmas, right around Christmas, you know, my mom's not quite sure because she didn't go to see her at Christmas. She was sick. My mom was sick at my grandmother. And uh, they have protocols about going to the nursing home when you're sick. Anyways, basically, my mom went back to see her and she didn't know who my mom was. I mean, before Christmas, she knew my mom about 50% of the time, but after Christmas, she didn't know her none at the time. She had no idea who she was. Occasionally, she called my mom by her sister's name. She thought my mom was Aunt Lizzie. So, you know, last week when she had bronchitis, she... She, she, she uh, character my grandmother. She, she didn't get out of bed and she told my mom, she said, I just can't get up, Lizzie. My mom was like, what's wrong, Mommy? She said, I just can't get up. And my mom kept pushing the issue. My grandmother said, well, if you have to know, they cut my legs off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my mom said she pulled back the cover and she said, well, they must have grown back or something because she got legs again. My grandmother, look at that. Will you look at that? Anyway, she, she stopped eating last week. Went and take her medicine. Went and get up. She developed a bed sore and, you know, she was kind of just laying there all day. Not interacting with people, not wanting to eat. Bad if when the doctor is pushing her to get up. And... So, you know, you gotta do what's best for your, uh, for your elderly relatives. You gotta think about their quality of life. It's not what we want, it's what's best for them. Anyway, so uh, if you want to send out some uh, prayers and positive thoughts for my family, it would be most appreciated. Sorry. If you don't see me back for a few days, you'll, I'm sure you'll understand. Um, I'll finish up Chloe when I can. I probably won't go down for the funeral. There probably won't be one. You know how it is. With COVID restrictions and stuff, they probably won't have a visitation at the funeral. And if they do, it'd probably be like a, just a few close family members just come in and out basically for five minutes. I think that's what they, they said before. It's like a few family could come in for like five minutes to you know, the limited number of people in the funeral home. Anyways, sorry. Sorry about my happy self today. Anyway, here's Chloe. I just want to pop on here and show that she's almost finished. She's got to work on her tail and her body still, so it's going to be a little bit of time before she's ready to go off to her mama. I want to try something different with the nails this time. I was thinking about uh, using some. Uh, uh, liquid, um, my brain doesn't work, Li the liquid glue stuff you use with the, uh, the clay, I don't know what it's called, but you're supposed to be able to use it with the vinyl, and it holds the paint, the Genesis hit heat set paint too, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try that, see how it works out, give her like a little bit of 3D effect, where she, the sculpt doesn't have an actual sculpted nail. I like this kit for that reason. Anyway, this is Callie with Callie's room with Reborn's Cats and Nothing for the day. A work in progress on Miss Chloe. She, she looking good, ain't she? I like how she's turning out. Bye bye. I'll make it turn it off. Oops.